This is an amazing geometry question that includes a variety of concepts like symmetry, circles, chords, and perpendicular lines. We have a circle. First, we draw this chord of length 5, and after that, we draw this line of length 6 from this point, which is perpendicular to this chord, followed by another line, which is perpendicular to this one, and it is of length 4. Now, how can we use these details to determine the radius of this circle? Can you solve it? Let us start by marking the center of this circle. Now, in a circle, the line segment from the center that is perpendicular to a chord will also bisect the chord. This means that the perpendicular line from the center of a circle to its chord divides it into two equal segments. This is called chord bisector theorem. Now draw this diameter and then draw this rectangle whose side lengths are 5 and 6 like this. Now draw this line which is perpendicular to this side of the rectangle. What do you think its length will be? Since this diameter will be perpendicular bisector of this chord, and if these are 5 by 2, so both of them will also be 5 by 2 as well. And since both of these lengths are the same, therefore this segment will also be of length 4. Awesome! Now draw this line and label it as X. Now we will use another theorem called Intersecting Chords Theorem. Here is one chord of the circle, and here is another chord of the circle. So, by Intersecting Chords Theorem, this length, which is 6 times this length, which is x, will be the same as this length, which is 4 times this length, which is 5 plus 4, or 9. So x will be 6. Amazing! Now draw this line such that we get a right triangle here. What do you think this line will be? Yes, you guessed it right. It will be the diameter of this circle. This is because of Thales' theorem which states that if you draw a triangle where one of its sides is the diameter of a circle, then the angle opposite that side is a right angle. So this hypotenuse will be 2 times the radius r, and this is 12 and this 5. So we will now use Pythagoras' theorem such that 2r whole square equals 5 square plus 12 square or 25 plus 144 which is equal to 169, or 13 square. So 2r equals 13, and r equals 13 by 2, and that's it. Wasn't this an interesting problem? Were you aware of so many theorems before this video and able to solve it? Let me know in the comments. So good!